and stay tuned for this video. Okay, I hope the lighting and everything is good right now. I am going to start with the Mud Masky Mask. It's a facial detox purifying recover re mask. I like to use this before filming or before applying makeup. It gets out all the dirt, so when I apply foundation after that, it will look super it will look super clean. So I'm not going to apply it all over my face, just on those problem areas like my forehead but just only this little part here and here and my nose here is why, where I have the largest pores and a little bit of my chin you will you, and you, then you leave it on for 7 till 11 minutes I will see when I take it off so then I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this Sigma E15 brush. Oh my god, this is so nice. I have a bigger table, uh, a bigger desk. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you've seen my whole room. Couldn't wait with just filming a whole video on how my room is looking. I really wanted to share it on Snapchat. But I could do, if you guys want to, I could still do a room tour video here for on YouTube. I haven't uh, been filming videos because I was moving and I'm now ready with everything I now and now I can start filming again and I'm so freaking excited for this I have so many IDs at first I will be starting with the hijab Fridays <clears throat> uh, so every Friday I will uh, upload a hijab tutorial a different style and then every Monday and Wednesday I will just upload a makeup tutorial or I don't know what actually. But I have so many cool IDs. Also you guys gave me a lot of requests for videos. So that's what you're gonna get. Also going to use this to color correct and as a base for my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to use this Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I'm starting off with the color Dessert and with this iconic blending brush. And this is going to be a transition. Whoa, it's really pigmented. Transition, transition shadow. And then I'm going in with this color. It's called Dark Chocolate. And with this Morphe Y22 brush. And now I'm going to really follow the crease. That's how you would usually do with a cut crease. And I'm also kind of blending that out. Going back in with the lighter color and blending these two together. And then I'm going to wet this brush. Um, Yes, maybe you think this is really nasty, but it's on my own eyelid. You can also just use water or anything, but I'm just too lazy. Then I'm going in with the Skinny Dip Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows palette. And I'm going in with this beautiful color, and that's called Bikini. The color Skinny Dip in this palette... Um, it looks gold here and then when I put it on it looks green and right now this pink color looks white goldish strange I'm going to apply some mascara on my upper lashes to prepare my lashes for the falsies same sentence I've been saying in every video. And then I'm going to apply these Lily Lashes in the style Opulence. I love this style so much. Now I'm going to take off this mask. Now on to the face. I'm going to use this Jouer Daily Clarifying Treatment Oil. Now I'm going to use this Jouer High Coverage Cram Foundation. And I could not use these foundations, I do really love them. But I have like six one of them and all of them are not my color. But now, 
you're not able to see if it's my color. So, I think that's a gift. This foundation is so strange. It has just two colors in it. I don't know how to explain that, but it's like... When you blend it out, it's getting darker. Oh great, my father is calling. This is really not my color, but I could use some tan, so no problem. Do you see that? Here it's light, and then I'm blending it out, and it's getting darker. It's really strange. Because if it would be this color, it would be my color. But when I blend it out, it's way too dark. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape to conceal everything that I want to conceal. Blending this out with the 3D HD blender from Sigma code is in the description box from Sigma. But this sponge is the best. It is so soft. Like even the Real Beauty Blender, I think it's sometimes still when you're blending it, you can have rounds. Like you can see that you're tapping rounds on your face. I don't know if that makes sense. But this one is just, you know when a Beauty Blender is just too hard, it's just not working. But this one is just really soft. Kind of like the Real Techniques one, but then even softer. And it's only $15, I think. Hmm, strange. Then I'm going to use the Ben Eye Cameo Powder to set everything. And then I'm going to try out the new Anastasia bronzers. This is the color Rosewood. Then I'm going to use this blush from Jouer in this color here. It's called Hold Me. And then I'm going to use this powder highlighter from Jouer in Citrine. I don't know what to think of these highlighters. They are good, but also they are more, I feel like more to a eyeshadow-ish. It's not a blinding highlight, it's just more of a color. I don't know how to explain it. I do really like it, but if you really want to go for an extreme highlighter, I would not go for this. Going over that with Iris from Morocco Cosmetics. I also have a code on that. It's in the description box. This is just blinding. Well, it's maybe too much. <laughs> Step a little back with this. Ooh, damn. And then I'm blending the darker brown color from the Jouer palette that I blended in my crease. Also on my lower lash line. Applying this Ico Brow Gel, also have a code in the description box. I really want to make the sentence shorter because I don't feel like saying the codes the whole time. And just, yeah. I'm going to apply this lip cream um, from Jouer in the color Blush. Hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.